as the crowd continues oh, to roll bumps, in. Pete and Tatey, goosebumps. It does not get much better than what we have here this afternoon for the Intra Super Cup. The Sunshine Coast Falcons will be the team to kick off. The Hunters, first use of possession. Our referee this afternoon is Jared Cole, assisted by Nick Palgrave. Here we go, folks. 80 minutes of grand final action. Who will be the Premiers? We'll find out very soon. This will be a great ride. Hope you enjoy it. Sunfield Stadium. With the shadows going across the ground as the Hunters working it out of their own danger zone. Looking for a solid start. Stan Nelvin with a run. Moses Meninga brought down. Last one here for the Hunters. Kick from just outside the 40. Sopha Lawley, well positioned. What about the chase? Great set of six in attack, Pete and Tady, and also a great set of sets, six defensively. A lot of contact by the Sunny Coast Falcons, but you can see the energy in both those sides. You're right, the, the kick chase was fantastic, wasn't it, for the PNG Hunters as the Falcons try to go wide early to get around them. Former Hunter it was too, and Justin Olam. Jeremy Hawkins, had a terrific final the series, Jeremy Hawkins. Very good coming off his wing. Looking to shift the ball here early. And it's Hughes who's up in the line, throwing dummies to Ray Hughes. Slips the pass to Sopalora. Sopalora, beautiful forward. He beats up, he scores a try. Matthew Sopalora opens the scoring for the Falcons. What a start for the Sunshine Coast. Well, it's the man we spoke about, the big inclusion of Jerome Hughes that injects himself very early into this play. And they've tried their hand twice very early on in the tackle count. They go to the edges. And Riley Jacks, as he always does, he exhausts the defensive line. And it's just the speed and the evasion and the show of hand. And great skill out the back of the hand there, Tatey, from Jerome Hughes onto the, one of the most... One of the most consistent performers for the Falcons in the finals, and that man is Sopalola. Oh, it's a great play, and just a PNG defence there backing right off. You can't allow Jerome Hughes that sort of room. He'll catch up every time. And the skill for the one-handed pass around the corner, Sopalola. He doesn't need any invitations for the try line. Well, he's one of those players, isn't he, Jerome Hughes? You've just got to give him the ball early and let him work out what he's going to do with it. But this Matt Sopalola, he's amongst a team some of them have, have got NRL experience, have played in NRL systems, and this kid has just been so consistent, hasn't he? So reliable throughout the finals. What about the late use of the feet there to evade the defender coming across? Stargrave, the man, looked like he was going to have him covered, and then beautiful footwork. It was just a magnificent finishing there, but again, the, the defence of the PNG just backing off out wide. We sh Sunshine Coast have showed their hand that set of six going wide twice. So some, a, bit, a couple of worrying signs for PNG there. Need to get up on the edges. Conversion waved away from Joe Stimson. Perfect start, Pete Bedell for the Falcons. There's one thing, one thing Pete and Tady, and it's something that Craig Ing Ingebrigtsen touched on last week when we interviewed him after their victory against, against Redcliffe. He said, we're going to move them around. We're going to move the ball back and forth from, from east to west just to see whether they can handle that approach. Now, they love playing that style of rugby league themselves sometimes, the PNG Hunters, but they've struck the first the first time the first time they've had a shot at them early on. And looking to shift again inside pass from Olam to Hawkins. Here, hold, show two. They're slick at the moment. Kamakamitha straight and hard from Big Tui. Being one of the players of the final series, Tui Kamakamitha. Hold square, hold, hold, hold. Smith, they go down a short side, uh, Stimson, and that pass too hot to handle there for Justin Olam. He puts it down. Again, it's just a PNG. They defend so tight. It's almost inviting the Falcons to throw the ball and go around them, but 
a real let off there. They could see it building nicely again for the Falcons down a short side. So the Hunters, they'll need to sort their defense out pretty quick. Well, what they do defensively is they, they remain really tight as a unit and they go up and they push out. And so it looks as though the Falcons are making really good yards on them and they're using the sideline as another defender. But what that invariably opens up, doesn't it, Tate, is if you turn angles and turn people back under, you can be exposed. So now they get an opportunity themselves to get themselves into the half of the Falcons and see what approach they use, whether they're going to use the ball themselves, the Falcons, or just try that aggressive hard running for these first 10 or 15 minutes. They probably couldn't hear us before. The noise is deafening. Back down to you, Pete Bedell. Yeah, it's outstanding, Salty. Wonderful oh! atmosphere here on the sideline. But just for Release PNG Hunters, Hunters, watch Hold out for their number oh! three, Bland Barbu. He will be a man who's targeted today. He he leaked two tries last time when these two teams played earlier oh, in round Joe. six. So he's defensively weak, he's tall, but he will be targeted. It's a good set of six for the Hunters. Into Falcons territory on the last. Meninga will play it. Oh, but they've made a meal of it in the end. And it's been picked up here by the Falcons. He's fighting there is Brandon Smith. Had to get to their kick there, PNG. In good field position. Now it offers up even better field position for the Falcons. Smith, Muller. Strong, hard running lock forward for the Falcons. Been very impressive in recent weeks. As has this man in Tim. He's brought down by Meninga. Albert in there as well. Muller. Jacks. Nice ball. Stimson. Beautiful running from Joe Stimson. In the afternoon, just getting better and better for the Falcons. They're in for try number two. Joe Stimson, the try scorer. Beautiful line that he ran. Well, it's a combination that we've seen quite a bit, haven't we, between Riley Jacks and Joe Stimson. They've spent a lot of time down at the Melbourne Storm. And it's the defence there of Asse Bowles. He gets out of the line, he breaks the defensive structure. And when you do that, Riley Jacks takes advantage. Joe Stimson, the try scorer. Had a terrific year, Joe Stimson. Had a fair few games in the NRL for the Melbourne Storm. So important, isn't it, Tatey, when you've got a half that can take players to the line, use them as an option. And Riley Jackson uses it beautifully when he takes players to the line. You've got to have that real good combination, haven't you, in communication with your outside man. It's, it's the understanding, but for the back row of Stimson, you've got to be prepared to hit that hole at pace, and it's such a hard thing to do as a back row to get your timing right, hit the hole at speed. As we see, they convert the goal there, but it's been a nervous start by the Hunters. They really need to get themselves back into this game. Down to you, Pete, and, and just to, from ground level, what are you seeing from PNG at the moment as far as the, the body language is concerned? Well, Salty, defence is all about attitude, and what I, what I am seeing is a, a team at the moment that is as flat as attack. This is a terrible start by PNG. Their line speed is down, and their commitment needs to be better in defence. But Riley Jacks, he has so much time as a player, he's been better for coming into the Storm system. And if they give him room to move today, he'll carve them up. Yeah, you just saw uh, Asse Bowles, he broke the line, and even if he makes the wrong decision, his outside man needs to follow him. And Adex Vera didn't do that. He stayed out. Opportunity. They took it, the Falcons, but it's about handling occasions, isn't it? Big occasions at the moment. It feels as though that the two weeks they've been waiting has really exhausted a lot of energy, a lot of nerves. They'll get back into the game. They've done it all year. They never feel as if they're out of a contest either, PNG. There's good defence from them, though, in this set. Going into numbers. Tim will play it. Go down that short side, Lewis. He's wrapped up. Just short of the halfway line. Last tackle here. Eight missed tackles already for the Hunters, as you can see there. So, too many for Michael Marham, their coach's point of view. It's a 
big set of six for the PNG Hunters. They just need to get to a kick at the very least, just get through this set, work themselves into some field position, and just get themselves back into this game. Paul with a run, Vara Paul. A nice take at the back from Stargrave the mid. Butler Morris. Five short of the halfway line, and Matave Poara has put it down. He had a little boat peak. He looked up, saw an opportunity to go for a dummy half, but he didn't have the ball in his hands. His intentions were good. He got a quick play of the ball by Paul, and he just wanted to get some energy. He wanted to get on the front foot. There was a really good opportunity. But you're right. If they got to a kick, it then makes your role, and you feel a little bit more comfortable about your role on the field and the position that you're going to play in this game. But at the moment, Back they're just trying to... Let's go. Get, the scratch ball. the surface first, get underneath the surface and then get into a really good rhythm because they just haven't got an opportunity to yet. The Falcons off the back of the scrum and they make a mistake. Good solid contact there on Hawkins, forces the error. And they're in there in numbers. They need some, something positive to go their way and that may be it for the PNG. Well, we saw it with Justin O'Neill in the Cowboys game last night, didn't we? He came up with a big mistake and it, it created a try for the Roosters. And then he came up with a huge play, the next set of six, to jolt the ball free from a really good contact on the Roosters' uh, wing of Blake Ferguson. It's exactly what they needed. It's a shot of the arm that they needed, the PNG Hunters. Now they've just got to convert it into a kick. Worst case scenario. Addicts Vera. Dangerous centre for PNG. Into Falcons territory. Boas, Amin. Morris. Boas dummy there on the inside the loco went himself. Solid defense so far from the Falcons. One from three they've completed. It's only their fourth set of six of the afternoon. For PNG. Boas. Except put. Boas, rubber kick in the in goal area, well picked up, Jerome Hughes, he gets back into the field of play, quality stuff from the Falcons, fullback, and earns his team a penalty. Tony, what about that for class? Not only gets possession of the ball, but just attacks it on the run with so much traffic coming his way. It was a great kick by Boas, but you're right, it's a field position and positioning of Jerome Hughes to put his body on the line and then earn his team a penalty. Great footy from Jerome Hughes, and that's it's such a big in for the Falcons today, having him in the side. That looked like it was play on. It's the Falcons working it out from their own ends. Muller. He's brought down. Puara in there. Boas in there as well. Kamakamita. If they get themselves into the game, the PNG Hunters, and the Falcons want to play quick. That's the way the Hunters like to play. They like to play quick. Hughes through again. Gets a great ball. Throws a dummy to Riley Jacks. Ball down in the tackle. Could be a penalty. Ababu holding on. Play on. Jacks. Stimson. He's grabbed the try, but he's wrapped up on this occasion. Five away on the last. They go from dummy half, and they're going to be caught just short. Changeover, good scrambling defence. The Hunters as Olam is caught short. Oh, well, that's a real let off for the for the Hunters there. Saw an opportunity here, Jerome. He's just great footwork and just the speed to take off. Had a little opportunity on the inside there, but decided to go himself. But that there's a real let off. The Falcons they need to get to a kick. If they get a repeat set there, the Hunters are right on the rack. But a real let off there. They read it well then, Ababu and also Amin, didn't they? Been good defensively all season, star growth, I mean. Well, so are the PNG Hunters as a whole. Second in the competition with their defence. They won their preliminary final against Redcliffe. Redcliffe didn't even score a try. They kicked two penalty goals. 6-4 was their last outing, and we saw how much that took out of Redcliffe last week. And that's going to be a strip. A penalty here for the Hunters. This is what they need. A trip downfield into Falcons territory. Oh, it's, a, it's a harsh call. Seen them go either way, but this is the first time they've had some real field position down the hunter, so 
good to see Boaz and off broken block. We've seen them on the run, haven't we? But now we get them from a stop-start situation. Get the field position, see what they can come up with. 25 away. Put will play it. Boas finds Elbert. at Stanton Elbert, number 10. His brother Wellington is in eight. Puara. Boas. And there is Wellington Elbert. Pops a pass. Now David Loco. He's brought down. Five away from the line. Puara. Boas. Out the oh. back they go through. Meninga trying to pop a pass. Sutherland will put it there. He doesn't try to drive in the same. The pass went forward. A near thing. Oh, it opened up, didn't it? They scrambled well to close the hole, the Falcons, but good exchange of passing. But again, it's just the patience, isn't it? The composure to be able to take the tackle and then hopefully score on the next play. It was Moses Meninga that went through the hole. He saw Boas loom up on his left. Well, it's the first time they've had an opportunity down here. They look dangerous. They look good with the ball. That's when they've got offloads. That's when the hunters start yep. creating and look, look dangerous. Solid hit there. David Loco. Wow. Justin Olam. He's brought down by his former teammate, Alex Vera. Now Hawkins. Doing things quickly here, the Falcons. Good set of six from them so far, getting out of their own end. They're really struggling to match the urgency, aren't they, at the moment? Even to get back on side, they're struggling yeah. to get back to ten yeah, at the moment, the Hunters. It? And it's all the backs oh. in this set of six so far. Justin Olin with his second oh, run. Kamakamitha. You haven't watched a lot of Intra Super Cup. And keep an eye on the big 18 for the Falcons. Big Tui. Got NRL written all over him. This is a very good kick. It's going to stay in the field of play. Start right the man does well. Smart play. Pinpoint kick from Drinkwater. Both he and Riley Jackson left foot kickers. Now look at the Falcons coming in numbers. Muller and Hogan. This is a massive set of six here. Paul will play it. They reach the 20 on tackle four. Hold, Brandon. Hold. Morris plays it now. Here's Elbert. Nick Wellington Elbert. And, well, initially the whistle came for a knock on, but it had to have been a penalty, yeah. not clearing the ruck. Well, a relieving penalty there for the Hunters. It's all very one-out sats at the moment. Very easy pickings for the Falcons. Well, it's interesting you say that because I, I sometimes feel as though that the PNG Hunters' greatest asset, their aggression in their running, can also be their greatest downfall because it can become really predictable if, as a forward pack, you're willing to get up and get physical with them, like Redcliffe did in Round 21 this year. You get physical with them, it can be their greatest downfall. Let's take your sideline, Pete Bedell. Well, the Hunters now, they need to start building some pressure. They've been under the pump and they need to affect the momentum shift. The best way to do that is to complete your sets, get some yardage, and then move to the edges and test the, test the Falcons' defence like they're doing at the moment. At the moment, the Falcons are playing with speed, they're playing up tempo, they're hurting PNG's defence. We'll play it now. On the front foot here, Nixon put. 22 away. Still a couple of tackles left in the set. Parara. Takes a few steps. Out the back they go now. Boas finds a hard-running Albert on his inside. He'll play it. Pereira, it is the last. Can they get to an attacking kick? Force a repeat set. And they were not going to be able to because it was off the feet there of Lachlan Tim. And the last tackle, they're saying it wasn't played at. So it'll be a changeover. That's a fair call. Wartaber Kawari takes it into the face of the defence. Strong defence. Albert on Lewis. And they're in there again hitting hard. That time it was Boas. I say Boas, the 2017 Kiriamala medalist. And his brother Watson was in there as well. Now Parara and Meninga getting involved. Solid defence. The Falcons struggling to get out of their own end at the moment. Tim will play it. Good run from him. Kick on the four tackle from inside the 40. It's a smart play. 
get out of dodge as quickly as you can if you're losing that arm wrestle battle. Always enjoy getting Tui, all the feedback Tui. and the Intra Super Cup on Twitter. There's the hashtag for today's game and all the Intra Super Cup news at the Intra Super Cup on Twitter and on the Intra Super Cup Facebook page as well. Facebook.com forward slash Intra Super Cup. All match highlights and all the news is there. Bavu plays it. Now Alex Vera. The watch him, the jinking runs that he loves to go on. Now Bowers, he finds a hole. Good run. He'll play it now. 32 away, right in centre field. The kick will come from Asay Boas. It's a high one. It's a tester for Hughes. He's under pressure. Takes it beautifully. Classy. But it's exactly what the Hunters need as they give away a penalty, unfortunately. But they're getting themselves back into the game by just doing the basics, Tady, aren't they? Well, they've really tested the Falcons up through the middle there. A couple of nice runs opening them through the middle. But again, they just don't need this. They're sort of wrestling the arm wrestle back uh, into their favour and then uh, a silly penalty, really, which relieves all the pressure for the Falcons, but a, a better set of six by the Hunters. I know they're controlling the game at the moment, the Falcons, but what I've been told by players that have played against the, Fal the Hunters, I should say, is that when you defend them, it takes more out of you physically than it, what it would be playing against a lot of the other Intra Super Cup sides. So as they grind their way back into the game, you've got to think about physically what it's taking out of the Falcons also just to try and manhandle them themselves. Hope you're enjoying the opening stages of the 2017 Intra Super Cup Grand Final. Whether you're watching on Nines, Wide World of Sports, throughout PNG on TV, one plus through the Digicel Network, or streaming on qrl.com.au. A culmination of what's been a terrific year in the competition. Mix it up! Falcons, the team in control, but as we know with Hunters matches, things can change very quickly. Smith, though, long pass. Olam, he had to juggle that one and ends up throwing a pass out the back. Riley Jacks knocks it back. And then Butler Morris gets him and the mistake. So the mistake has come. Good for pressure. Riley Jacks. Good pressure on Olam. They came from the outside in and they tried to shut him down. I think they know with their experience with Justin Olam that he's not a big passer. When he catches and passes, he'd rather run the ball than pass. So they get up from the outside and put pressure on Olam. Butler Morris a wrap. He's, he came in there and forced the error and he's done that a few times here in the last little bit as well just trying to to come in and put a good shot on. We've hit the 20 second minute mark and both teams will start going to their benches. I think the PNG Hunters bench is a lot stronger than with all due respect from their impact than the Falcons so they have to lift the Falcons when the Hunters go to their bench. Our match day sponsors for the grand final. The National Gaming Control Board is a major sponsor of the Hunters. The NGCB is the gaming regulator in PNG with profits given back to the community. And Vandy Chimes Queensland, the Sunshine Coast leading builder, trusted to build over 1,000 homes. Visit VandyChimesQLD.com.au. Penalty Hunters. Starting to find some easy yards from the middle here. The the Hunters, you talked about that physicality. Well, some of the big boys now are starting to find their front. Tony, you mentioned just before about the, the one out. Imagine how, how dangerous they would be if they went together in numbers. If they went together in numbers, it would be so difficult for the defence to control their control the rhythm. Nixon put 11 away on tackle one. Off the back of the penalty. Big opportunity here for the Hunters to get themselves right back into the contest. Elbert's wrapped up. Thought about an offload, but tucked the ball under the wing. Switching the point of the attack. Boas, dummies to put. Pass might have been the right option there. There was a little gap there for Nixon put. Pereira, hard running. Elbert puts it down. Now Jerome Hughes has got it. Better watch out here. He beats one, looks to beat another, and he's brought down there by Asay Boas. What about the start of the game for Jerome Hughes is having? Just a goal been everywhere, everywhere, hasn't he? It's a high shot here. I think it's from Asay Boas. There's a drop ball there by Albert. It was always going to be a, a pressure pass. Asay Boas 
just gets the Rome Hughes high a little bit there. A penalty given away off the back of the error. I like the switch. They switch from one side of the ruck to the other then, the Boas brothers, because I keep looking at the Falcons defensive line and they're getting back into their positions, their defensive yeah. positions and their structure really oh. easy. They're, they're nice and set. So the switch just breaks it up a little bit more. Dane Hogan into Hunter's territory. They go, the Falcons, leading by 10. Drinkwater, coming to meet, that puts it down. Maddox Beer has got it. It is a, it's a hot day today, isn't it? And I wonder if there is a, a lot of dew on the ball, a lot of sweat on the ball, because we're seeing a lot of mistakes. Vera. He's brought down. Good run from him. They attack down the centre. 25 away. Melbourne plays it. Boas. Start by the man. High shot from Dane Hogan. And the man doesn't like it. And Tempers threatening to boil over. Dane Hogan's involved. The Raging Bull is out there as well. He's got the grand final haircut too. Willie Mononga, he was looking to get involved. He's just come onto the field. Good play, but good defence also. They shut that hole really well, didn't they? Brandon Smith and also Hogan. They look comfortable at the moment, the Falcons in defence. I said it before, their movements are good, but they're going to get tested again here. Big set of six for the Hunters. They either need a repeat set or come up with points. Could be a very smart interchange too. Tatey with Willie Mononga coming on. Expect him to get the ball, or they dummy to him there. Boas, now he goes to his brother. It's Watson Boas, and there's oh, good tackle. David Loco. He's brought down. He was running very hard, and the mistake has come. Well, that was a fantastic tackle. Joe Stimson, it's 10 0, Falcons lead. Scrum's here. Back it up. Back it up. Keep coming, Willie. Come back. Yep, the line's the mark. Still in two reps. Just hold, Stargroth. Good. Heads in. Riley, there's your tunnel. In straight away. Out. Your Kelly. Thanks, mate. Well, we've got the ball back here from the scrum, the Falcons. Stargroth, where? It's terrific ball movement, wasn't it, from the from the Hunters, but a tremendous tackle by Joe Stimson. Look at this, a, a barnstorming PNG Hunters player in, in David Loco, but the tackle underneath was just perfect. It needed to be a big man too, making the tackle. Anyone smaller probably would have been a speed bump. Drinkwater plays it, now kick from well inside their own half again on the four tackle, not back there by a man. He's got some room to move here, Stargrove the man. Do you like that play, Tatey? Well, I think it's good. I think at the moment the Hunters Go are up. playing a little bit nervous and making mistakes. So it's very Melbourne-like, isn't it? The yeah. Kick early, try and force you into an error with their defence. I like the play. I think what they've seen as well too, the Falcons, is that the Hunters wingers have been pretty slow in dropping back and they've isolated a man a couple of times at the back. A lot playing a bit of football. Stargrove, the man, Lara Paul, and Butler Morris between the three of them. They're really just controlling the ruck, aren't they? The Falcons allowing everyone to get back into the defensive line. Another mistake here by the PNG Hunters. It... Moses Meninga it is who puts the ball down on this occasion. It's just attention to detail. It's and. There is a hand on the ball, but the, you've got every right to hold on to that. Again, is it the humidity? We don't know. Is it the occasion itself? Well, earlier on today here at Suncorp Stadium, we had the grand final of the Fox Colts Challenge, and well done to the Redcliffe Dolphins, who defeated the North Devils 56 points to 18. Dominant season for the Dolphins and the Colts, capped off by the grand final win. So well done to everyone on the peninsula. 
eight from 14 the completion rate for the Hunters. Just not good enough against this Falcon side. But in saying that, they're still only behind 10 nil, which is a concerning, if they don't score off these next couple of sets of six, I feel as though the Hunters go in at half time in a pretty good position. Greaves is on the field in jersey number 15. Both coaches going to the bench as they go wide here. Hughes long pass and has been put down by Hawkins and a chance or half a chance for Butler Morris who couldn't get a bounce. Yeah, it's a couple of times now they've gone wide the Falcons. They've hit the lead runner but that time they went out the back and created a number. But just a pass from Jerome Hughes, not on the money. Again, Tate, I'm really concerned about Asay Boas making the decision to come in, and Adex Vera is staying out. It worked on that occasion. It's been a couple of times they've hit that lead runner. It won't be long that you'll see, well, I think, the Falcons strip the Hunters. They're going out the back, and Wait for the as you ball, said, guys. the centre and winger just aren't communicating, and defensively, they're a bit all over the shop. Had a shot there of Craig Ingebrigtsen, the coach of the Sunshine Coast Falcons, down to you, Pete. Well, the Falcons are opening the door here for PNG, and now it's up to the Hunters to capitalise on that. I like what they're doing. They're, in the last 15 minutes, the Hunters here at ground level, they've actually stabilised a little bit. They were a deer in headlights early, but they've actually found some shape with the Boaz brothers, and if they can keep up the yardage, they're a chance here. They just need to try, and they can stabilise things. And Ock Mackey is out there. Meninga. John Greve in there making the tackle with Jai Ballinger. Here's Minoga. Oh, popping that one up there for Ferrara, but put on his back with tackle Jai Ballinger. Now Boas, high kick. Hughes is up there, Hawkins there, they get in each oh. other's way, but Jerome Hughes again not only takes it, but evades one, two, three, four defenders. Now oh. Tom Lamorla puts it down. Undoing all the great work, and they can turn defence into attack. Watson Boas has got it. What about his ability to transfer from a take into immediate attack and position someone as well, but now they've opened the door. Again, for the Hunters. On the front foot here, PNG. Suncorp will erupt if they score. There's a high shot from Kamikamitha. It's on Brandy Peter, who's out there in jersey number 17. They need to tap and go here, the Hunters. They look their most dangerous when they get two passes wide and they're getting players on angles and, and bringing players onto the ball. And we see here, Marky just starts heading across field. And... Now take the tap. They do take the tap, and they're going to lose it on the first. Brandy Peter puts it down. Frustration for the PNG Hunters. Again, they're just they're sending them one out, and it just allows their opposition just to tighten up. Good contact there by Greve, the man that comes off the bench. He's the man for all seasons, isn't he? He comes off, he does a lot of that dirty work defensively gets a result straight away. I reckon coach Michael Murray will, will not be able to wait to get them in at half time yeah. and just sit them down, calm them down. Now we mind. Because at the moment there's still a fair bit of frantic about their football. Stay close watching. Right, it's just far too one out. So wait the and you mentioned John Greaves. He won a premiership with the Sunshine Coast when they were the Seagulls oh, in 2009 and also oh. with Winner Manly in 2011. And he's played in two grand final winning teams in the Interest Super Cup is John Greaves. Not a lot of grand final experience in both of these teams. Together! As far as Intrust Super Cup is concerned. They look to go down the short side. Into Falcons territory they go, or Hunters territory they go. Slay to his feet there, Brandon Smith. Ballinger. And he's put it down. He knocked it forward into a, a Hunters player. 10 0 Falcons. Ball in. Yeah. 
win the scrum. Abavu. Jones are in there making the tackle. Willie Minogga. Stand now to eat. Be a Baracus haircut from the A team as Willie Minogga. Grand final haircut for him. There he is. He's a frightening human being. Look at him running at you. Nixon put. Good ball movement from the Hunters. A couple of tackles left in the set. They're 20 metres away. Brandy Peter. Oh, Solid tackle. hits. Brandon Smith with a beauty. Here's a kick. Hawkins has got it. Can he get back into the field of play? He's going to be forced back. Terrific defence, the Hunters. Well, that's better play from the Hunters. A nice kick by Boaz there. And oh, look at it. Not happy. He's been threatening. Some of these hits have been ferocious. Well, I think it's frust starting to frustrate the Falcons more that they're not. They don't have a bigger lead on the scoreboard. They're getting up into the end of the, the Falcons. They're both coming up with a lot of mistakes, but as a winger, Tatey, Jeremy Hawkins, as soon as he changed direction there, that's where he got himself in trouble. Got himself into trouble, didn't he? One thing, one thing you've got to say is that the PNG Hunters kick chase on all occasions when they have got to a kick has been very good, hasn't it? Which means they're in the right mindset. They've just got to fill the spaces. Play with some composure. Yeah. So they get themselves a repeat set. Riley Jack's receiving attention, Pete Bedell. Yeah, he is, and I was just looking at Michael Murrum here on the bench, the PNG coach, who was shaking his head about 60 seconds ago. He's obviously not happy, but this is the set now for the Hunters. They have to convert, pressure into points, and I like what I see for, throughout the year. AJ Boaz, the number six, he has been a danger man. He's very good when he straightens the attack and he backs himself. Either he has to make something here, or they go to Addicts Vera, who's their leading try scorer out on the, on, in the centres. He scored 43 tries in 78 games for the club, so he's a danger man. They've got to get the ball to him. See, that's where Riley Jacks hurt himself. Play on here, big moment of the game. Four minutes left in the first half, and they register some points. They've got to get some width. They have to get some width with their passing and use their big men on the edges with their footwork. Get them one on one. He's brought down. Coming in to do some work is the winger. Solid hit again from Brandon Smith. He's come up with a couple of good tackles in the last little bit. That one on Moses Meninga. Brandy Peter. Solid again. And it's that man, the young hooker Smith. Hughes in there as well. He might have some numbers out here if they look to shift. Boas. Now a man. Stuck right the man. And he can't control it. Puts it down. They got across in numbers well then, the Falcons. It looks good, but they always have it, had it covered, didn't they? Tatey, they didn't panic. Their line integrity is really well. They know their roles. There's no one racing out of the line for the Falcons. They're just getting up nice and quick, holding the line, just making decisions together. And really, the Hunters aren't troubling them too much when they're going wide. If they get an opportunity in this first half, in these last two and a half minutes, if I was the Hunters, I'd kick early. I'd kick on a second or third tackle and just let their chasers use their speed, see what they can come up with. Big defence here. A man in there put as well. Up in numbers quickly on Hughes. Still evades the first man and nearly evaded the next three. He's had a first half to remember Jerome Hughes. Future looking pretty good for the Melbourne Storm, I would have thought, with players like Brandon Smith and Jerome Hughes. Oh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a footballer, Jerome Hughes. You can play him anywhere in the back line. Played a couple of games for the Cowboys in the centres. Played very well. Just knows where to be. The right spots at the right time. A hell of a player. Speaking of the Melbourne Storm, 
well done to them and well done to the North Queensland Cowboys getting into the NRL Grand Final. And here's a stat which shows how successful the Intrust Super Cup has been. Is a kick from inside the 40 and doesn't get the angle on it for a 40-20. Of all the players in the winning teams this weekend in the NRL, 29 of them have played in the Intrust Super Cup for a total of 961 games in this competition. Do you know there's more players that have played for the Innisfail Leprechaun? Yeah. Then there are New South Wales Origin players in the grand final. Love that stat, don't you? <laughs> well, okay. My son talked about today. Who's done a great job for us as our statistician all year, Jack Sattler. Into the last minute we go of the first half. Last tackle here for the Hunters. Boas kicks, chasing out after it. Is a Babu and Hughes almost slips through again. How agile is it? Well, just competitive. He just never wants to get tackled. He's always fighting for every inch. And you know, his start this first half from inclusion has been enormous. So, Tatey and Salty, I don't know whether you both agree, but if this scoreline goes in at 10 0, I think the PNG Hunters are in a really good position because their best period in every game is their last 15 minutes. Yeah, I agree with you there. 10-0. That's nothing that they worry about, the PNG Hunters. Not back there. Miscommunication. It is the last. There's only 10 seconds left. They might just kick it out and go to the break here. It's exactly what they do. That will be the last play of a very fast first half. Where did that 40 minutes go? It is the Falcons in control here at halftime at Suncorp Stadium. Leading by 10 points to nil, but the PNG Hunters are far from out of it and showed some positive signs in the last 15 minutes of the first half. 10 nil it is at the break here at Suncorp Stadium. It is the 2017 edition of the Intrust Super Cup Grand Final. We're live at Suncorp Stadium. I think they're, they're a big chance of coming back over the top of the, the Falcons, so it's all about that composure and playing with that precision which has just been missing in the first half. The last 40 minutes of the Intra Super Cup season for 2017 is underway. Oh. And a mistake from the kickoff. They tried to mask it but that is exactly what the PNG Hunters wanted. Scott Drinkwater dropping the ball. There is a short line of sunlight across the field. And Scott Drinkwater's just hit it, just there. The sun has hit him in the eyes and he would have lost all focus of the ball. Good pick up. Riley, one point. Wasn't from Scott went, No, it wasn't. It was from you. He went from sunlight one into the shade mate. just as the ball came. I'll give you an ball here, boys. Get our backs. He's probably looking too, a little bit guilty ball looking now. who he was going to pass now. the ball to. Big opportunity here for the Hunters. Monoga. Ten away from the line. And Okmaki. Good platform here. Can they capitalise on the drink water error? Boas, quick hands, and it's going to be held on to very well. Nixon put doing well there. Boas, Boas, Watson Boas for the line. He's two metres away. John Grieve got him. He's hurt here. There he is. Well, he just can't get there. He had the, the arm of Grieve locked around him. I say Boas. Dummies on the inside. Goes the outside. It's a good start. That is Vera. Vera lines up Justin Olam and Olam takes him. One on one. Last tackle, Asai Boas kicks, it's off hands, could well be play on, it is going to be play on for the PNG Hunters who scored through Watson Boas. We go to check it, but it all looks okay for the Hunters to register their first points. We have made an on-field decision here, we've got no try. And I think it may be a double knock-on. It may have come off the Sunshine Coast Falcons first, and the Hunters may not have taken control of the ball. The, the kick is 
it's kicked with a lot of momentum, isn't it? Just to try and come up with that mistake. And it's Boas. Looks like it comes off the hands of Drinkwater first, doesn't it? I think he might have missed it. This could be play on. I think it's play on. But has it come off the PNG Hunters as well? well the first knock on is from Drinkwater, is it? It's here. That's that the knock is on. it a knock on there from, from Meninga? I think Meninga's on the ground there. Is it a double knock on? That camera angle. This Lissel one here Salas. will tell us. Knocked on there. Oh, the leg of Sopalola's in the way. I think there's enough evidence to say that that's, that could be overturned. I think he missed it initially. I thought he missed Had it initially. Touch it there. I think he's missed it. This is going to be play on. No, he's no, not totally near it. That's a try. Oh, what a moment in the game this could be. I think you can almost well, clarify going, there. Well, they're going through to the put down, so that's a try. I think you can almost. Oh, they're having another look at it. They've got to look at onside now. Everyone's onside. It definitely comes off drink water. So, worst case scenario, they'll get the feed to the scrum. Oh, he's, I think the ball has eluded Moses Meninga. It does kick forward. It goes sideways, then it kicks forward for some reason. Here we go. Jared, this is the video referee. We're going to overturn the on-field wow. decision. We have a try. Bye bye. Try awarded. Video referee Clayton Sharp awarded a try to Watson Boas who has opened the scoring for the PNG Hunters, a much-needed four-pointer. We spoke about going ahead in numbers, and that's exactly what they did there. Boas, Assay Boas, puts that kick across the field. But the best part about it is a lot of bodies in motion putting pressure on the receiver, and there's where Drinkwater tries to take the ball on the run, comes up with a mistake, and it's well-timed pass also by Blair Dababu, who doesn't try and overcook it. And there's where Watson Boas gets their first try of the game. That'll really settle the nerves of the Hunters. We spoke about it. Michael Moran would have wanted to get them in at halftime, give them a talking to, and they've come out and responded in the second half. Even that set of six that they have is a lot better constructed yeah. from what they've done in the first half. So they really settled in their work. A We've got a game. Variations, wasn't there in their play? I'll say Boas to add the extras, and he makes no mistake. Pete Bedell down to you all of a sudden. A four point ball game, and the Hunters have come alive. Well, that's the try they needed, PNG. They were always looking likely in the red zone in the first half. They just couldn't convert, but they have done so here. And it's the Boaz brothers who combined so well. They've been so good throughout the year. And it's no surprise to see Watson, who has been so good today, get some just desserts. Just a halftime message, guys, from the Sheds. Their coach, Michael Murram, he said, we've got to convert in the red zone. Well, they've done that. He wants more patience. And Craig Ingebrigtsen, the Sunshine Coast Falcons coach, he basically said, let's play smart. We've got the lead. We shut this game down. We can win. What do you make of that comment then about just shutting down and not the team that you want to shut things down against the, the PNG Hunters? Well, you can't shut down. It's just how you shut oh down. You can still shut the game down by, by really smart early ball movement, which eats up a lot of time. But if you try and shut the game down by putting the kids in the touch and dummy half running, well, this Hunter side will just basically overwhelm you. It's a terrific set from the Hunters off the back of points. Kick coming from inside the Falcons' territory. It's a tester here for Hughes. Beautifully positioned to kick. And it tastes good as well. It's a great set of six from the Hunters after points. That's what you need. Just a good couple of charges and a great kick into the corner. Well, you just don't want to give them a sniff, do you? It's exactly what they've done. Sopo Lawler gets through the other side. Lewis now. Started off the year at the Dragons, Chris Lewis. Now Hawkins, who said, go back and play it. He didn't think he was held. One man we haven't seen injected into the game yet, but he uses him very wisely, is Guy Hamilton off the bench for the Falcons. He'll lift a lot of energy into this side. Now that was off the head. They're going to say it was played at, yes, and it will be a Falcons feed. Player coming through, deemed to have charged the ball down. 
just see the energy in the in the hunters just the, a lot more talk in their defensive line a lot more energy around the ball Would have given them a lot of confidence that try and just feel the energy from the hunters really starting to pick up well, set a six here for the falcons they go down the short side hughes tackled on the halfway line Smith, Hogan. He's been good, Smith, hasn't he? His service is always good, but defensively in that first half, he took a lot of pressure from the Hunters. A very good final series, says Smith. Now Hughes, a whole lot. Morris on there and forcing there. Again, you see there, they, re they realise that Justin Holland, knowing his game, that he's not going to pass. So Butler Morris just attacks him and takes him out to have ripped the ball in the event of making a tackle. Oh, I don't know about that. That's just a that's just a bad carry. Just look better defensively too, PJ. They yeah, held off a didn't lot they? better. Just a lot lines a lot more straight, a lot more talk. There's the key man. You got Hamilton there with the other unused player too in Louis Garrity. Big tackle here ah! from the Hunters. Release! Big man too in Lachlan Tim. Now coming Kamitha. Passes to Grieve before the line. Together now. Opportunity on the right if they go that way. Drink water. Coming Kamitha. Jacks. Dummy to Olam. Took the tackle. I say Boas making the tackle. Bellinger. That was Watson Boas. Smith. Smith. Brandon Smith for the line. Can he get there? No, he's a for me to short. We're having a look oh, here. Hang on. Well, this is well, this is exactly what this is exactly what the hunters want. It is the last tackle. So Jared Cole wants to have a look at this. He must have seen something. He said no try, but as I said, this is exactly what the hunters want it's fifth tackle they can start to get their spaces defensively but what he wanted to look at here always short for mine including brandon smith who was going back to play the football he was as shocked as anyone Jared, this is the video referee. We'll confirm the on-field decision. We've got no try short of the line. Tackle five. So last tackle here. For the Falcons. And they force a repeat set of six. Smith plays it. Jax, Hughes, Jerome Hughes. And now a player was held back. It has to be a penalty, Hunters. That would have been interesting if he got through the line there. Butler Morris was the player that was dragged back. Again, Tony and Salty was the perfect scenario, wasn't it, for the PNG Hunters? They got to get their spacing right defensively, get off the line really hard, and that's the end result. Yeah. Oh, that would have been interesting. Jared Cole was the only man on that. Nick Pelgrave, the only man to, to take him in cover. Would have been a foot race, and he would have had a 15 metre start. Butler Morris. Important defensive set of six, that last one too, for the PNG Hunters. They've come out of completely different side, well, haven't they? Absolutely. I just can't believe the difference in their defensive line. Just their talk and their movements is just so much better. Addix Vera. Solid contact on him from Stimson and Ola. As they work it out from their own end here, the Hunters. This is a solid run. Three Again, short of the halfway line. The run it was there from Brandy Peter, who's been impressive off the bench. Now they look to shift it. Into Falcons territory, they go PNG. Thirty-five away. Here's a ball on the last, pressure on Hughes.
takes it well, and then he's taken. Crunch at the back, Alex Vera lining up to Rome Hughes. I love the tackle from the Hunters. Look, Jerome Hughes has obviously brought the ball back and made some great yards. So now they're just putting the ball up, standing him still, rushing down there and obviously taking his running game. That's what they do with Slater, isn't it? Put it up high and get him from a stop start. Kamakamita, big two, he winding up. He's passed on his first few runs in this second half. That time taking it into the line. Now Ballinger receiving the ball from quick hands on the halfway line. Last tackle. The kick. Put a bit of pressure on the on the kick of it. Puts in a good one in the end. Amir gives it to Morris. Great chase, Belgians. Tatey turns. He's sitting on the wing. A high ball coming across. He can hear the footsteps approaching. Was it just terrifying? I can remember an Origin match where my legs were shaking. All was in the air. Absolutely. One thing we've got to remember about the Hunters is that they haven't played much footy this last month. So the longer this game goes, the more comfortable and, and better they're starting to look. Five short of the halfway line. Marky plays it. Just quick play the ball as well. Now Monoga. They're just getting over the advantage line easier, aren't they? Oh, lost that. Looks like Rara is out there in jersey number 14. Who's lost the ball on his first run. Monoga out there in 15. Some of the numbers, the tackling numbers, and I, I talk about the physicality of, of tackling the PNG Hunters one on one. Kevin Kamitha and Brandon Smith, they're in the mid 20s, 25 tackles at half time from both of them. Dane Hogan was in the 20s as well. So they've had to, they've had to withstand a lot of pressure defensively. Just one on one defence, those those guys in the middle. Seconds together. He's got a terrific engine on him. Big two, he cut Kamitha. Hold, Alex, Alex, hold. When you're ready, Riley, hold. Jacks feeds it. Smith takes it out and gives it to Olam. Good tackle on Justin Olam. Hold square. Hold. Go one. Alex Beer and Justin Olam. They may well be World Cup teammates in a couple of months' time. Guy Hamilton ready to be injected into the contest. You see. Chris Lewis slow to his feet. Okay. Dane Hogan well wrapped up. And numbers quickly on Hogan. Moses here. He'll be important guy Hamilton just oh. pushing up around the forwards and looking for an offload or a quick play of the ball, whatever it may be. Jai Ballinger almost Moses slipping off. through. Go, Grabbed a hat trick a couple of weeks ago against the Tigers. Now Smith. Good hands from Smith. Finds drink water. Now Hughes, quick hands, Sopper Lawler. They come across in numbers, PNG, and Sopalola stops, props, changes direction again. In the first half, that play pretty much led to a try. Here's a kick, they're streaking out after it. Great take, Butler Morris does very well. Hawkins was there putting pressure on him. They're getting there in numbers, the Hunters. Every time Sunshine Coast look to go wide, they're getting there in numbers. They're not getting around them as easy. Found their rhythm, they've found a bit of spark with the Hunters. Kai Kamita has a break and Lachlan Tim comes on the field. John Hart! Here! If you're just tuning in, it was 10 0 to the Falcons at half time. The one That's try we've seen scored in the second half has been to PNG through Watson Boas. Kick from inside the 40. Well played. Oh, it's going over. That's a big play, Tatey. We look for big plays in big games. 40, 20. And that could change the tempo of this entire match. It's low, trajectory, trajectory kick. It gets a dream bounce, oh, doesn't it? What it's a Michael Morgan bounce. bounce like last night. And then Jerome Hughes, I think he cops some knees or boots in the ribs here. Well, he's still down in the back play. This could be a huge play, not only get the ball back for the Hunters, but Jerome Hughes has not moved off the ground. 
There wasn't much Nixon Foot could do about it. No, it was, it was a brave, yeah, it was a, it was a had, brave play from Hughes. He hadn't seen the linesman put his flag up because the linesman was actually behind him. 10-6, Falcons leading the Hunters. receiving attention they're going to get the ball here through it's at the hunters because it had gone out prior to Hughes touching it he's ginger isn't he oh. the next time they get the opportunity you put oh. another high ball up through when you just go put some pressure here we go png on the back of that 40 20. Lock one up from Boas. they're 10 away hold hold go one Pawara. Boas, it's us, eh, Boas. Inside ball to Enoch Naki. Double pump, it was beautiful. Ferrara. Meninga. Meninga. Moses Meninga <laughs> pushing him sideways. Let him up. Three away from the line. And a penalty. More pressure on the Falcons as Dane Hogan is down. He's clutching at his hamstring. He's unconscious, yeah, Dane he's, Hogan. Yeah, he's, too. he's in a bad way. Yeah, he's not good. <laughs> so Dane Hogan receiving attention. Let's take your sideline, Pete Bedell. Yeah, he does look in a good way, does he, Dane Hogan? He'll be off for a HIA. This is all, what that is a nasty shot. That has to go on report, surely. From his teammate, friendly fire. Oh. He's in a really bad way. He wants to stay on Dane Hogan. He can't. He, he can't stay on the field. But he's got to come off. Got me quicker. Well, he's still out there as we play on here from the penalty for. The Hunters, Meninga, he'll play it. Ferrara, Boas, dummies, dummies. Now stepping into the line is Asay Boas. Five away. They trail by four. And it's a mistake for the Hunters. Still receiving treatment in back play is Dane Hogan. And that's certainly a let off. For I, I know the he's, I know he's a tough guy, and I know that we've all been in those situations. But the game has changed, and I can't see how he's allowed to stay on the field. He's backing into the scrum here. It'll be fed by the Falcons. Smith out the back of it. And Lewis. Watch the Hunters come in numbers here. Making life difficult for the Falcons. <laughs> Pushing Hughes back on this occasion. You just feel something. You can feel a building, building can't you? Either the Falcons will do something against a run of play and completely change the momentum of this game. Or the tsunami of PNG pressure will just overwhelm them. Ballinger ran 10 and got forced back three. Tackle from Willie Minogga. Now again Minogga in there with Meninga. Well, it's the Falcons starting to be a little bit one out. Not going in numbers, being easy pickings for the Hunters. So a great set of six there pressure-wise. Get the ball back, they'll be at the 30 or 40. Start right, the man. A man. He's Here. brought down in the Go tackle. Hold, hold. Look to hit top gear there, did Stargrave the man. Let's take your sideline, Pete Bedell. Well, there's drama on the sideline. There's a QRL official here remonstrating, remonstrating with the doctor to get Dane Hogan off the field. This is disgraceful. He should be off the field. I can't believe he's out there. Alex Vera 
his play on here for the Hunters. Some hard runs in this set of six has given them some terrific field position. Play the ball, 18 metres away. Good hands, Watson Boas. Threw a dummy there to Amin. And now it's been knocked on. John Greve getting in and around the ball there. Terrific take initially. It's not Dane Hogan's fault. They're taking him off the back of the field now. And it should have happened a while ago. It doesn't look good now. I've been watching him. There's Roy Saunders, a very great state doctor. of origin yeah. doctor for many, many years, Tate, hasn't he? And he'd be very concerned here. The look on his face said it all, didn't it? How many times would Dr. Roy Saunders have treated you, Tate, over the years? Oh, jeez. I shudder to think. Salty. He obviously bumped bills. Tate <laughs> goes to him. There he is, one of the best. Oh, oh. mistake coming from Joe Stimson. So, the pressure getting even to the best of them. Big chance here again for PNG. You know, it, it doesn't matter how experienced you are. And Tate, you've played many test matches. You've played a lot of state of origins. And it doesn't matter if you've played 250 NRL games. Big moments and big occasions like this Both sides, let's work. can get Numbers to the best in. players. We saw the Melbourne Storm on Friday night really nervous in the first 25, 30 minutes. You're right. You talk about experience and no one is immune to it. And obviously, Joe Stimson, very accomplished player, very experienced, just coming up with an error there. But I'd love to see the two Boaz brothers really take control. I'd love to see them take the line and use their footwork they're passing here. a little bit too, too much, much, aren't they? But whether they're setting everyone up, Yours. we don't know. But... I get an opportunity here because they're getting a lot of sets up this end of the field. That man playing the ball could well be a danger man as well. And Addicts Vera, one of the go-to men for the Hunters in attack. Five away from the line. Albert will play. It's Wellington Albert in, eight, in jersey number eight. Oh, and a knock on. They've dropped the ball again. And it's not for the first time when they've been on the attack PNG that they've put the ball down inside the opposition's 20. Well, they've had so many opportunities. The saving grace for the Falcons is that the attention to detail of the Falcons at the moment, look at that, tackling the opposition 20. They've had 25 opportunities to convert into points. And the only opportunity, or well, the only try they've scored is from a kick. So it's the one area that's really holding the Falcons together at the moment. If you're not scoring points, you need to be building pressure. And that's just what the Hunters aren't doing at the moment. Hawkins. It's been strong this afternoon, has Jeremy Hawkins. This is what they need. They need some outside backs just to get in there, take the pressure off the big men who are going to be tired. Take you back down to Pete Bedell. Pete, Dane Hogan is in the hands of Dr. Roy Saunders. He walked past you just a, a few minutes ago. Does this thing settle down? Well, Salty, I'd be stunned if he returns to the field. He went right past me, Dane Hogan. He looks like he's in fairyland. I, I can't see him returning. And Roy Saunders is a very, very experienced doctor and very, very credible. I'd be surprised if he's returned. But if he's cleared, of course, it would be the right decision by Dr. Saunders. But just on PNG, Sats mentioned earlier, the longer this game goes, the better they can get. Don't underestimate this crowd, guys. I feel like I'm in Port Moresby. They're fired up. Lewis, release! Most certainly they are. Terrific atmosphere, crowd of 11,260. Biggest crowd we've seen for an Intra Super Cup Grand Final. The with all that momentum that they've had in the opening 21 minutes of the second half. Still trailing, but it is only by four. Justin Allen takes that one well. Will he look getting on the outside? Putting the touch. Oh, 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 oh. Nearly went out. His shoulder probably was out, but didn't hit the ground. Now confusion at the back. Muller puts it down. They're saying not back. Stimson will get up and play. Oh, a pass to no one. Oh, they're going to get six more tackles out of it here, the Falcons. But it nearly cost them a try as Lewis gets, looks to get on the outside of his man. 
Got that passage of play. <laughs> this is insanity. You love the pressure of a grand final. Oh, what about that pass from Hawkins? So Hamilton's on. Brandon Smith will move into the back row. He does a great job at it also, but PNG Hunters, the message should be out. Not Walker's on, but Hamilton's on. <laughs> there he is, Guy Hamilton. Now Smith, Jacks, Hughes, Holden. Eight away from the line. They extend their lead here. Smith. Hamilton, watch out. Guy Hamilton kicks. Nixon put got his head to it. Now it's been knocked off and picked up by a player in an offside position. They're going to just say a scrum. Well, they've got the feet, but it was the wrong play from Hamilton. They had numbers on the outside, and the PNG Hunters were backing off defensively. I think that's where the Falcons need to attack the Hunters. They've had a couple of shots out to this left hand in. side or the right hand side of the PNG Hunters, and they've handled it every time, but. It's out that side of Bavu, who in the first half made a couple of errors defensively. Yeah. That's where they need to attack the Falcons. Well, they've just gone away. They've always said they want to move the ball around go, and move this PNG side back and forth across the field. But as the intensity of the game has grown, they've had the inability to stay in that, that same game plan, that same no focus. The Big chance here for the Falcons. Hold. We see Matthew Sopalola's come across as well. They got plenty of numbers here. Sopalola gets it. Watch out, he's grabbed one try already. And he's going to be dragged down two metres away from the line. Hawkins now. Olam, flat footed as he gets the ball. Easy pickings for the Hunters defence. And eventually play it to Hawkins. Riley Jacks. Joe Stimson now. They've got to go right. The Falcons have got no one to this left. There's about six on three out wide if they go that way. That's what they do. And drink water is brought down. Three away from the line. Recovered well, PNG. Hamilton on tackle four. Goes short. And there's a mistake. And it'll be picked up by the Hunters. They survive again. Good defence. Good tight defence. They got off the line hard. You'd think they're winning the game, wouldn't you? The Hunters, and, but they're still chasing. It's amazing with all the ball they've had in the 25 minutes we've had of this second half. They've only scored one try. They've given up a number of opportunities. Adex Vera, solid tackle. Brandon Smith. Right around the ribs. That rattled Adex Vera. Now this way they're going to say it went forward. Oh, they're saying it was a knock on. It's 10 6. Falcons lead. Feed the scrum here, the Falcons. Starting to get a little bit more of the, the field position. Here's the reason. That's knocked oh, down. That's knocked play down. on. That's play on. Out. Oh. Yours. Now, Riley Jackson's been looking at this left-hand side to get numbers. I expect him to try and take Stimson to the line, use those numbers to his advantage, and take the ball himself. Use his running game, but use the men outside him as his decoy. Stimson will play it. Here's Hamilton. Garrity is starting just to marshal the troops out this left hand side now. Good run there from Louis Garrity. Now Riley Jacks, the man Sats was just talking about. Hughes, Jerome Hughes. Well wrapped up on this occasion. Vera in there, Albert there as well. Along with Willie Minogga. Jacks. Tim. Lock the team. Tim. He's hitting. He's spinning. He's trying to get there. He's brought down. Hamilton kicks, tries to get the ball in the goal area, but it's been plucked out. Well done, Stargrave the man. 
Well, well done, Hunters. Again, great defence under all sorts of pressure. Lock on Tim. Great run with a great play the ball, but the Hunters at the moment have got all the answers defensively. Guy Hamilton, he's, he's come on and he's tried to he's tried to change the game single-handedly through the things that aren't his greatest assets. And I'm not saying he's bad at them, but his greatest asset is running, taking advantage of opportunities when his team is on the front foot. At the moment, he's just overcooking the plays a little bit too much. Last tackle here. Kick. That will bounce and stay in the field of play. Hawkins picks it up. Most had switched off. For PNG, that Asay Boas was there to make a tackle. Soccer Lawler, Pete Medell down to you. Well, this is where Sunny Coast big men need to step up now. Kama Kamuth has been disappointing today. They're, they're losing the ruck, and now a knock on. Another call. A knock on. 12 minutes remaining. That knockdown. It was called a knock on from PNG, knocked out of the hands of Boas. That could play a huge part in the scheme of this, this game. It, well, it's a case of some walking wounded down there. I see us say Boas has had a cut that's been attended to. Jerome Hughes is down now receiving attention just near you, Pete Bedell. He's not too far away, Salty, and it doesn't look too bad, but obviously inconvenience at the moment. I just spoke to the Queensland official here on the sideline, the quick QRL official, and he's very doubtful that Dane Hogan will be back. So if he doesn't return, that's a massive blow for the Falcons. But the PNG Hunters, they're feeding off this energy from the crowd. I, I don't rule them out. I think they've got another try or two in them. They can win this. If they score a try out wide, do we start thinking golden That's point? Right Perhaps to decide the grand final for 2017. Well, I think Riley Jackson is going to play a huge part in this final final 12 to 13 minutes. He sat back most of the game. He's delivered. Right in. Right in close, Riley. He's a smart rugby league player. He'll know when to inject himself. But as I said, the best period is the Falcon is for the Hunters is their final 15 minutes of every game. Well, we're into that period now. 12 minutes left in the Intra Super Cup season for 2017. Monoga, oh. Willie Monoga, into Justin Olam. Stimson there as well. Oh, team in there as well. I wouldn't be squaring up to Willie Monoga, even if I did have a height and depth advantage. Elbert, he plays it. Eventually, he'll get up. Ferrara. Jerome Hughes is Pretty out on his left wing. They play it. Out the back they go. Boas. Now Asay Boas for the line. He's brought down. Last tackle. They were not out to the left if they can get it there. A man kicks and it's been knocked off. Oh, oh, penalty. Oh, penalty coming. The crowd. Starting to lift. Look, there was an opportunity at the left, and one of the Falcons players they identified it. They got out of the line Off really line. quick. Off the line. They got an early start, and it's Garrity. He gets off the line really hard. It was good vision from Garrity. Just got off too early. If they had a play through the hands. There's a massive yeah. opportunity. They were going out there. The Falcons on that left hand, right hand side. They take the tap and continue to pile on the pressure. Ten minutes left in the season. How will this grand final unfold? Oh, Ballas, Avira, and it's Vera put down two metres away. Pereira, Otavo Pereira, and it's going to be a change over here. Knock on Hunters, another let off for the Sunshine Coast. Oh, they had a couple of opportunities, didn't they, down this, this closest side here. Oh. He would have gone over untouched. Well, you can feel the building, can't you? And it's a right play, he went straight to the line. Just the execution of wow. pass. He was through. We talk about Come moments and big go, moments. Go. That's one right Let's there. Look in. at the body language right now. Scrum form, defensive line Seconds form, together. sunny coast you, all over the shop at the moment. Here we go. 
There's the bench, Dane Hogan's there. Pete Bedell will head down to him in just a moment. He's about to get a report. In fact, Pete, you're there just near. Yeah, I'm right here, Salty. I've just spoken to the Curie Royal official. He is out of the game. Dane Hogan will not be back. All right, so no more Dane Hogan. It's, not a big loss. There. it's a big loss because in these final moments, you need those players that come up with those desperate efforts in defence. And that man there, the captain courageous. He's the man that usually comes up with a lot of those efforts. Tim. Big strong Lachlan Tim. Especially in the second stint that he's had. Kick from Drinkwater. There was good pressure on Drinkwater. Great kick. He's put in a terrific kick. A man faces a wall of Sunshine Coast defenders in front of him. That's a huge kick in the scheme of the game, isn't it? Oh, you talk about experience. That's exactly where you want to be putting the hunters coming out of trouble. Kick two corners. Put some pressure back on with your defence. It's a great kick by Drinkwater. Garrity in there this time with Lewis. Hard yards here for PNG. They're trying their, their best to get out of their own end. Last tackle it is, and the kick will come from inside their own 30. Meninga plays it. They're chipping and chasing here. Might get the ball back as well from Minogga. But there were players getting back there for it was the a right, Falcons. That was the right play. 10-6. Falcons lead the Hunters. Play the ball. Jeremy. Jeremy, play the ball. Play it. Up here. Turnover. They're 10 away from the line. Two tackles left in the set. Drinkwater changes the attack to Smith. Right every minute, Brandon Smith. Drinkwater on the last. Sopalola will try to climb high. He can't. And they might go in the touch here. Mara Paul. Well, did he throw it back? No, it went out anyway. But that's Paul from the Hunters. Good pressure from the Falcons. Well, it was well taken, wasn't it? Out there by Paul. But it was just the weight of the kick as well. That's two really good kicks from, from Drinkwater. It was, but it was just a silly decision there by Paul. He'd done all the hard work. He'd taken the catch. The play was just to take the tackle and come back inside. But now he's put his team under all sorts of pressure. Four points to margin. Seven minutes left. <laughs> I thought this was going to be like a 28 26 score line, a plethora of tries. Oh. Hamilton feeds the scrum. Smith out the back of it. Jacks now drink water. Drink water. Olin quick hands. Hawkins cuts back on the inside. Smart play from him. Now Jacks. Smith. They're all huddled around Brandon Smith. He'll play it. Ten away. Right in centre field. Hamilton. Tim now. Lockwood Tim. Jacks. Riley Jacks short ball. Stinson. Great tackle. Boas it was on him. Great defense. This time it's on Muller from got Minogga. Out the right, Pete. If they can get it out to the right hand side. But they go down a short side and they'll wait to that little dart from Riley Jacks and they force him back. They've got numbers on the far right if they can get it out. Last tackle, six minutes left. Smith, Hamilton, stunned, kicked across field. Lewis takes it, and he's held. Oh. Oh. Turnover, oh. the Hunters are still in it. Oh, stop it. I can't, after the Cowboys last three weeks, I can't take any more of this. Well, it wasn't a great set of six. From the Falcons, they had numbers out to the right. They kept playing down this short side. But again, the Hunters, they come up well defensively. They hang on just. Five and a half minutes left. How's the tension, Pete Bedell? 
Well, Dr. Roy Saunders is sitting next to me here, guys. He's checking my blood pressure. Help me. It's just unbelievable stuff here. Great defence. What about the courage of this PNG team defensively? They have been outstanding. Stimson ran a good line there. I thought that could have won the comp for them, but they're hanging in there. But now they need to do something in attack. Time's running out. The Boaz brothers need to step up and produce something special. That yeah. they do. You're right, Pete. I, I think they, they need a bit of second phase, or it's going to be an offload through the middle. Still a little bit worn out at the moment, the Hunters, but I think the two Boaz brothers can just sniff around the middle. One of their big men get an arm free. Four point margin, five and a half left. Well, the minicab is out there for, appears to be Watson Boaz, who is down. Dr. Roy Saunders has been busy the last 20 minutes or so. Oh, just got his head in the wrong place there, Tady. Did Watson Boas and went down awkwardly. He's just caught the knee there. Doesn't look good. I think he'd be finishing the game, which is a huge blow for the Hunters. A lot of pressure now will be on his brother, Asay Boas. The Curia Mail medal winner for 2017. There he is, the 5'8. Can he manufacture something? Let's take you down to Pete Bedell. Has Watson Boas a big blow for the Hunters? Yeah, he certainly would be sold. He's been outstanding today. He really has marshaled the side in attack and defence. And uh, if, if he's not there for the last five or six minutes, I think they're, they're in a lot of trouble, PNG. I don't, guys, I don't know how they get out of it now. I mean, they, they've defended so well, the Falcons. They've been just as brave. And if they can hold their nerve, the Falcons, and just hold the middle third and shut this game down, they'll get home. He's in the medicab here is Watson Boas. 10-6, the Falcons leading the Hunters. There's Steve Walters there in shot. He's joined us on a regular basis throughout the 2017 season on the sideline. And as Watson Boas is leaving the field, we'll take this moment too to thank our hard-working crew for what they provide to us each and every week as far as the Intrust Super Cup is concerned. Everyone doing a great job. Particular thanks to Alex Redemarle, our director, Kerry Regan, our producer, right throughout the season. Mark in audio wants me to give him a wrap. There he is. Come on! Play the ball! Go! Can't mention everyone because there's a team of 20 or 30 people that help put this coverage together each and every week, and it's a privilege to be part Bring of it up, every up. Sunday afternoon. Hold, hold, go on. The competition coming to a fitting conclusion. The game still in the balance as we enter the final five minutes here at Suncorp Stadium. They've got to start to string some passes together, the Hunters. They're not going to bust the Falcons through the middle. They need to start throwing some balls, changing some angles. Sloppy play the ball. Another turnover. And Scott Sattler, it's another opportunity that they have wasted here, the Hunters. Well, it's been throughout the whole game, hasn't it? Hasn't been salty and tidy. They've just got the important parts of the game. They've got the good field position, haven't been able to convert it, but you've got to take your hat off to this Falcon oh, side. They've been so resilient under so much pressure in this second half to be able to withstand so much of this pressure. And not long to go now, only four and a half minutes remaining, and this is the most nerve-wracking time for not only the players, but the fans as well. William! Well, they can put the game beyond doubt here. Justin Olam, he'd love a try against his former William! club. 19 away, right in centre field. Tim. Another strong run from the big number 10. He's been powerful in the second half. Smith. Jax. Drink water. They wanted to go out the back, but Lewis gets it. And he's going to be held a metre short. Then has another crack at the line. He's a strong player. Chris Lewis. Get up and play it. Drink water. Hamilton. Smith. Jax. Riley Jax. Justin Owen. Jeremy Hawkins. Hawkins. Hawkins for the line. He's brought down two metres away. Last tackle. Be looking for at least a repeat set. Jax gets the ball. Kicks it straight into the breadbasket of PNG player who didn't play at it. Change over. They survive again, the Hunters. Well, that's a poor kick from Riley Jackson. He really had to find the in goal area there. Get a repeat set. 
They just turn the ball over and field position there for the for the hunters, and again they open the door. Well, PNG have got plenty of match winners in their team. Brandy Peter there, been strong off the bench. We'll be looking to star grade the men. Asay Boas, Otavo Pereira, players that can break the game open, and a penalty. Wow. Penalty to the Hunters. Talk about big moments, Salty. And here, it, here's one coming up right now. This set of six for the Hunters. It's almost make or break for them. So, two and a half minutes left, and a set of six starting on the Falcons 40 for PNG. Four points to margin. Can the Falcons hang on? Now, John. Put will play it. Brandy Peter. Run it up. The crowd Run trying to get the team over the line. Brava. Loco. 15 Run away. Three tackles gone. Brava. Now Parara. Amin. Inside ball. Got a couple of wrapped up. Quick play the ball. Watabe Parara. He's brought down two metres away. Last tackle. There's numbers on a short side if they want to run it. It's the last. Ababu. Boas. Kicks when he got there in the coming out. Enormous. Well, the big call here, Sats, is that Jared Cole has said try. Here well, we this go. will be the evidence just here. He's wow. got it down. He's got it down. Oh, the hand never left the ball. Willie Minoga. The emotion on his face. The crowd has gone up. Jared, we have a try. It's a try, mate. Jared Cole can't hear Clayton Sharp. It's a try. Referee points the spot. And the Hunters are going to have a kick to win the Intra Super Cup Grand Final. Stay in this match, and again, it's a, the little vision for Boaz and the old stage of Monaga. Well, Scott Sattler, he's been brilliant this afternoon off the bench, Willie Monaga. Well, he's always been one of those great interchange players. Comes on and changes the rhythm of the match. He's played a different role today. It's been through the middle rather than being on the edge. But Saldi and Tady, the first time that he gets out on the edge, he comes up with the biggest play in Papua New Guinean rugby league history. There's a player down behind the dead ball line. We've got time off with a minute left. They may get an opportunity for a short kickoff. Pete, Pete Bedell sideline. Salty Willie Monogga, he's crying out on the field. Can you believe it? I'm right near him here. He's crying, getting the Kleenex. This is unbelievable rugby league. But what about Asay Boas? His brother, he went off on a stretcher, a neck brace around him, and his brother on the field. Asay steps up, he set up the first try. Now he has set up the try. That could win them their first premiership. How good is this, Salty? Oh, what a grand final. We've seen more Polish games of football, but you won't see a game of football that will be as intense as what we've seen. Well, it's the heart that both teams have shown. They've had to defend their lines all afternoon. The Falcons have been very brave. The Hunters have tried hard all afternoon. You said there wasn't the polish, but just the heart and the want. The weight of expectation of the nation back in PNG. 
and they've stood and delivered. Here's the kick. It's there. The Hunters in front by two. We've got a minute left. The Falcons will have a chance at a short kickoff. Can they get the ball back? Guy Hamilton, the short kickoff. Sopalola will fly. He's batted it sideways. The Falcons have got it. They've got a chance. It went forward off Sopalola. It went forward. Goodness me. PNG starting to celebrate. Well, it's hard not to have a smile on your face. To know where they've come from and where they've been and to assemble a team to be here on grand final day full time at Suncorp stadium the hunters are premiers the intra super cup is on its way to png enjoy this one in papua new guinea folks your team plays with plenty of heart they only hit the lead in the last minute but to the Sunshine Coast Falcons, congratulations on a great season. Almost getting the Premiership. But the try, right on full time, has given the PNG Hunters the 2017 Intra Super Cup Premiership. Oh, Tatey, what a moment. What a game of rugby league. Well, it can be a cruel game at times, and. You've got to feel for the Falcons led for the best part of that match. For the Hunters to come away victorious, they showed so much heart. Just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Pete Fidel, down to you. Yes, yeah, Salty, I'm here with the winning coach, Michael Murray. Michael, can you believe it? Yeah, no, I just, no, no, it's really a good second half. We came back out the first half. But didn't do much uh, in the first half, and our boys stuck in there, second half, kept on playing until the end, uh, so no, really proud of the effort today. Yeah. It, it looked like time was running out, Michael, they were so desperate, so courageous, but it looked like time was going to beat you. Did you think you could win it? Had you given up hope? Uh, some st at stage we have, when we had a half back out, you know, that was probably uh, the time when I started thinking of what's going to happen here, but you know, because we had a bit of time left, but you know, you know, full credit to the guy, you know, the guy that went in never played down the half, you know. We had to sit around in the half back position, there, but, you know, to come out, you know, as soon as we, we, we knew, we had an extra set down the end, I knew straight away we were going to score, so, yeah. Well done, Michael. Celebrate this. You deserve it. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Scott Sattler, over to you, mate. Yeah, thanks very much, Pete. Now I'm here with the wounded warrior, the skipper, Asay Bowles. Tell me, how are you feeling right now and how would Papua New Guinea be at this very moment? Oh, I'm really speechless now. No. I can't believe it. I just keep on saying the boys. Just then, hang in there, hang in there. Just one more set, we're going to still get our way. I'll stay positive all through until now the boys just get away. Can, could you feel the momentum changing throughout that second half? Uh, I think I talk to the boys, we need to, you know, uh, they, they're already leading. We need to do some catch up football. So the moment you know, I try to keep on telling the boys, we need to hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. Sometimes, some things might happen. How courageous are your men? Yeah, they, they just fight for their country. Uh, we know we play for the 8 million people but watching back at home and here yeah, we have to fight till the end. So I said we are defending our country. Whatever it takes, we must fight till the end. It's the greatest story in rugby league in many, many years. Congratulations. Go and celebrate with your mates.